Tonight, we're getting a different view of conditions during the blizzard of 2022. Buffalo police have released videos of body camera footage showing the conditions during that generational storm one month ago. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. The video shows efforts of police officers rescuing multiple people all across the city of Buffalo. Tonight, two on your sides, Danielle Church joins us live. She has all the details for us tonight. Danielle. Scott Marialis, there are six videos that de that the department released. Now in all of them, you can tell just how tough it really was out there for officers to even get to people needing help and in those emergencies. Now all of the videos were either taken on December 23rd or 24th and show officers guiding stranded drivers. But you also see just how many people they rescued who had been stuck in their cars for hours. In one case, an officer got to eight people who were stuck in a building without power. BPD Commissioner Joseph Grimalia says officers ended up taking in about 60 people at the C District station. He says other stations took in at least 10 people each. And miraculously, no officers were injured despite those conditions. Because they were so bad, at times, police officers had to walk to get to emergencies. Commissioner Grimalia is now looking into purchasing UTVs or utility terrain vehicles, which cost about 35 grand each. Look, we're not the only ones. We know that a lot of other agencies now are, are looking at these UTVs. Uh, they have the option of um, taking off like a tire change. You can take the wheel off and put a um, like a tractor tread on them. Uh, so, you know, we're looking at those options. Back, no complainant. He says it's undetermined how many the department would need, but adds they could be used year round. BPD officers worked 40 hours or more that weekend, even recovering dead bodies. Now, that is not something they typically do. Grimalia says if there's any officers out there suffering in silence, reach out because they will get you some help. Reporting live in Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.